Hello. We made this video to help you and your cat deal with a flea infestation. We have tried all sorts of different flea treatments over the years, as well as all kinds of methods of dealing with fleas in the house afterwards. We found one that works quickly and is completely safe for your cat, so we will share that with you here. Also, what is most important, we will tell you about the secret of how to keep your house free of fleas and never face this problem again. Signs you have a flea infestation. Long before you think you might have a problem with fleas, you are going to be able to spot the signs of a growing infestation. The easiest to check for is right there on your pet. If you look at the skin beneath the fur, you may spot little black specks that almost look like dandruff. This is known as flea dirt. Flea dirt is actually the droppings fleas produce after they have already fed from your cat. Check for flea dirt regularly, but especially if you notice your pet scratching more often or is acting restless. You may also feel a bit more itchy or notice little red bumps around your feet and ankles. If you are not sure what you are seeing is flea dirt, the best way to check is to sprinkle some onto a white napkin and add some water. If the flea dirt turns red, you definitely have a problem. Before we get to our recommendations, we advise you to read about Flea's life cycle. It will help you to understand this video even better. Here is our treatment plan. There are three important steps that all must happen to really take care of an infestation. The first and most important is to relieve your cat off the fleas and the stress that they cause. Start with a bath. It's unpleasant, but necessary. There are lots of different flea shampoos on the market, but what we recommend the most is simple Dawn dish soap. It's completely safe and gentle for use with cats and it does an excellent job killing fleas. If you intend to use a flea shampoo, do your research before picking a brand. Cats are incredibly sensitive to chemicals and can have bad reactions to commercial flea shampoos. Whatever you do, do not use a flea shampoo made for dogs. What is safe for dogs can be toxic for your cat. Make sure you do a thorough job bathing every inch of your cat. You will likely see fleas trying to escape the dish soap by running to any dry parts of your cat, such as the face, so make sure you carefully and gently wash there too. Do your best to not get soapy water into your cat's eyes or ears. You will likely already be seeing plenty of fleas dying in the bath, which will make your poor pet feel better right away. After their bath use white towel to dry your cat, as some fleas who survived the bath may jump off the kitty and onto the towel. Once your cat is dry, use a flea comb to brush through all the fur carefully. Have a bowl of soapy water nearby to dip the comb in between brushes to clean it off. Make sure to give the kitty's head, neck and belly a lot of extra attention. Fleas love to try and hide there. So far we're doing a great job getting rid of those fleas. Now let's hit them with a magic pill named Capstar. Capstar, Nightenparam, is a fast-acting flea treatment tablet for use in dogs and cats that starts killing fleas in only 30 minutes. A single dose of Capstar kills 90% of adult fleas within 6 hours, ridding your pet of these pesky parasites. Please consult your veterinarian before administering this pill to your pet. Give yourself and your cat a break for an hour or so to let the Capstar do its work, then start brushing your cat using flea comb second time. Keep in mind that while it's great for instant relief, Capstar only works for about 24 hours. Any missed eggs or fleas that are hiding in your carpet will have no trouble getting back on your cat after that and restarting the problem all over again, so make sure you find a long-term treatment to apply and keep your kitty safe. There are many excellent topical treatments. We recommend talking to your vet about the best safest options for you and your kitty. We are currently using Revolution, but you can also find over-the-counter treatments such as Frontline or Advantage. 
whatever you choose, please make sure to do your research and read the directions carefully. Your pet will thank you for it. Let's move to the next step on the list. House and yard treatment. This is the hard part. You have to treat your house and yard. All your pet's beds, blankets and toys will have to be washed. All the carpets will need to be vacuumed, and any fabrics in the home your pet has access to should also be cleaned thoroughly. We recommend covering your cat's favorite sleeping spots and beds with white towels. It will make it much easier for you to track the fleas and take care of them. Mop any uncarpeted floors, paying extra attention to any cracks or floor moldings in which fleas can hide. Carefully dispose of vacuum bags. After this deep cleaning, have a professional come or do it by yourself, treat your yard for fleas. Otherwise they will hitch a ride as easily on your pants and shoes as on your pets and ruin all your hard work. Although this all seemed like a lot of hard work it likely only affected the adults of the species, leaving the larvae and eggs behind. This creates a window of opportunity for another flea infestation to arise, possibly months later. This is the time to talk about step 3. Fleas and humidity. The surprisingly easy way to control fleas. Even though it's the easiest of all the steps, we think it's the most crucial in making sure you stop the infestation in its tracks for good. This works better than any chemicals professional exterminators use, and unlike those chemicals, it is completely safe for your entire family, including the pets. Fleas need at least 50% humidity to survive. One method to kill fleas naturally is to use dehumidifiers to remove moisture from the area. If you can keep the average room humidity down around 45% for at least 5 days or more, you'll kill most of the adults, pupa, and larva. It will also prevent the eggs from hatching, although they will still be around the house. You will need to vacuum, mop, or clean as suggested above to get rid of the eggs. Fleas are tenacious critters, and no matter how hard you scrub, you may miss a few. It's a good idea to keep up a basic floor cleaning routine once a day after you first try to get rid of fleas in the house. Flea traps, plates with water and dish soap with a table light aimed at it, placed around your home can help you monitor flea levels. Once they're empty for a month or more, you know you've managed to kill all the fleas. Just make sure to manage low humidity in your house, and you will never have fleas again. Good luck and stay safe.